Welcome to the Craftessa, everyone. My name is Vanessa, and on today's DIY video, we're going to make this Victorian vintage piece using items from the Dollar Tree. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Facebook, where I post super quick and easy DIYs, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, where I post new videos every week. Now let's get on with today's craft. For this project, I'm going to take the medium sized egg container from the Dollar Tree. It is not the large one that they have. It's the one that comes right after that. Uh, I love these containers. You can do so much with them. And I'm going to take pieces of scrap paper uh, that I had lying around. Uh, this one is from Michaels. I've used it before in other projects uh, and I'm going to use it to cover the inside of this egg. So the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start to cut pieces and with Mod Podge, I'm going to decoupage them um, inside the egg. So let's continue. So now the inside of the egg is done. Uh, it is completely dry and I actually love the way that it looks. This is one of my favorite scrap papers. Uh, I'm going to leave the back gold uh, because that's the look I'm going for. Now this small egg is one of the eggs that comes in packs in the Dollar Tree. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add gold leaf to it. So with some Mod Podge and gold leaf, uh, I'm going to add the gold tones to this small egg. So let's continue with that part. So now that I let the Mod Podge dry, I'm just going to brush off the excess gold leaf. Uh, this will give us the pattern or the design. I really didn't aim for any type of design. I just spread Mod Podge over it and then the gold leaf. Uh, so let's finish um, removing the excess foil.
So now I'm going to start to add the details to the egg. I used this mold that I have from Amazon and some Crayola Model Magic. This has become one of my favorite things to use. It's so much easier to use than air dry clay, uh, much quicker uh, to dry and much quicker to work with. So I already molded the edging that I want for my egg. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to lay it on the egg and hot glue it. So let's finish off this part. So now that the edging is done, I had already made other pieces with the Crayola foam clay and I'm going to add them to the edges of the egg. Uh, the pink molds are from Amazon and this blue crown egg is from Michael's Craft Stores. Uh, you can actually find it in the cake section. I guess they use it for uh, molding fondant, but I'm using it for clay. So it's really cute and um, I was very glad that I found it. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to place these pieces around the egg and I'm going to hot glue them on. So let's do this part. So now that I'm finished molding the edges of the egg, I'm actually loving the way it looks so far. What I'm going to do now is take the small egg and a small piece of the Jenga blocks from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to glue it to the back side of the egg, and that's how I'm going to make the egg look like it's floating within the larger egg. Um, this way it makes it um, stand out. So all I'm gonna do is take this little piece, it's actually a broken piece that I had left over, and I'm just going to glue it on the egg and place it inside the larger egg. So let's do this part. So now that both eggs are pretty much complete, I actually added another uh, piece of decorative clay to the small egg. I'm going to take this cream colored pearl string and I'm going to go around the edge of the outer egg to give it a little bit, um, a little better look, I guess, or so it won't look so plain. So carefully, I'm just going to do some hot glue and add the beading to both sides. Let's finish off this part.
now that I finished adding the beads, I'm going to take this candlestick that I had. I don't know where I got it, but I had it in my uh, craft supplies. I'm going to add a piece of the Crayola Model Magic that I molded out with my molds and I'm going to hot glue it to the candlestick. Then I'm going to take some of my wax in gold and just give it a more antique-ish look. This way it won't look so white against the gold of the candlestick. So let's finish this and once we do, we will be done with this project. Now this piece is ready to display. I absolutely love the way that it turned out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell to get notified when I post new videos. Thanks for watching everyone. See you all on my next DIY.